All right, Lauren, it's time for casual mixtape, our, our music-based show here. We're going to do, we're going to start off, we're going to do things a little differently. We're not going to pick a mixtape together. We are going to pick the definitive best song of 2005. Let's go, Okay, baby. so I put together this bracket. This is my okay. bracket. Uh, anybody who wants to after this can go on to Bracket Fights and fill out the same bracket. I will put the link in the description of the video. But let's start it off. Same same rules as we did on Casual Fans. Uh, we each pick. If we don't agree, we rock, paper, scissors to move forward. Okay. So right off the bat, 2005, we have Shake It Off by Mariah Carey and You and Me by Lifehouse. There's no question about it. I'm with you. I'm Carey. with you. I had to go listen to what you and me was. I not, didn't know what it was. Not either. a bad song. Just I remember who Lifehouse is, but I don't remember. It wasn't. Song. It wasn't moving forward for me. Uh, don't funk with my heart by the Black Eyed Peas or Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Ooh, I'm going Green Day. Here. I am too. Okay. So initially, I want to go Black Eyed Peas, but I think Green Day is just a more iconic song. All right, we've got Ponde Replay by Rihanna and Disco Inferno by Fifty Cent. Disco Inferno. Really? Yeah. I So. As big of a 50 Cent fan as I was in my life, this was one of my least favorite 50 Cent songs. I think that the Rihanna song has a little more oomph to it. I'm going to go Rihanna. That's my least rememberable, like, bon Rihanna song. Bon bon uh-huh, Mr. DJ. Bon to turn the record on. All right, I see you really All like right, that so we got song. a rock, paper, scissors for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, you beat me. <laughs> We should be keeping record of who wins the most rock paper scissors. You have so far. All right, don't you by the Pussycat Dolls or behind these hazel eyes by Kelly Clarkson? I think we're going to disagree again. Don't you? <laughs> I'm going uh, behind these hazel eyes. All right, let's Kelly go. Kelly Clarkson. Oh, I won. Yes. I tried, Kelly. I tried. Sorry, Kelly. Uh, She's had better songs than that. Shake so. it off by Mariah Carey or mm. Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Shake it off by Mariah Carey. I'm with you. I'm with you. That was a good song. It's a wonderful song. All right. Pone de Replay or Don't Ya? Ooh. Don't Ya. I'm with you. All right. I'm with you. I don't have a real big bias there. All right. Shake It Off or Don't Ya? This shake is, It Off. complete bracket one. Shake It Off. Duh. Okay. I'm with you. I'm fine with that. I'm that fine going there. That was an iconic there. song. Yeah. By one of the All right. Best on the other side, ever. we have Holla Back Girl or Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. I won't take a stand. It's Since You've Been Gone. No, it is holla back girl. No, it because it ain't no holla back oh, girl. No, Lauren, don't do this. All right, ready for this? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes, son of a bitch. Yes, that's I two Kelly all Clarkson songs. The important songs. ones by and, Kelly, and, and I love Kelly Clarkson. Time out, time out, quick time out. You said important. No, I didn't. You did. No, you did not say important. You said important. <laughs> no, you did say important. We'll we'll let the, the gold digger decide. or candy shop. That is a hard one. Yeah, those are both good songs. I'm going to go Gold Digger, though. <sighs> Take it to the candy shop. No, I'm that beat. That Scott Storch beat. I'm the money. <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm going Candy oh, Shop. I'm going to go Gold Digger. All right, ready? Wait, wait, we start. Tell me when we start. You said you're, we had to say You're it. in charge. Oh, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn, fuck. So that was Candy Shop, right? Yes. Okay. Woo. All right, got one. Yeah, I got Lose it. Control by Missy Elliott or We Belong Together, Mariah Carey? Lose Control. Yeah, I'll All go right. Lose Control All there. Right. We already have a I already Mariah. got Mariah Carey yeah. one. She's she's amazing. But Mr. Brightside by The Killers or One Two Step by Ciara? One Two Step by Ciara. I'm with you. That shit was fire. Holla Back Girl or Candy Shop? Candy Holla Shop. Holla Back Girl. Candy Shop. Holla Back Girl. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, you won. All right, okay, let's okay. See. Uh, lose control or one, two step. Ooh. I'm, I'm a, I'll, I will pass this to you and let you make the decision. I'm going to go lose control because, like, it was an iconic song. Okay. Candy shop or lose control? Candy shop. Candy shop. I'll go candy shop. I'll give you that one. Ah, here we go. No. Shake it off for Candy Shop. You know this is coming down to a fucking rock, paper, scissors. It's a rock, scissors. paper, scissors to decide the best Let's song go. of 2005. Let's, Let's go. go. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> ah, yes, I won. <laughs> that was a wonderful moment in my life. So the best song <laughs> of 2005, according to the casual community, is 
Shake It Off yes. by Mariah Carey. All right. <clears throat> All right, Lauren, we got into an argument. Well, not an argument. We started an argument in the car, and we stopped it quickly because we said this is podcast worthy. Yes. We were talking about uh, two different singers and, and dropping one of the catalogs, right? Mm-hmm. Because last week we did Justin Timberlake and Miley Cyrus, right? Uh-huh. And this week it, you brought up just for fun in the car, Jennifer Lopez and Christina Milian, mm-hmm. which is interesting mm-hmm. because I've always teased you about my affections for mm-hmm. Christina Milian, and you are an extremely loyal Jennifer Lopez fan. Yes. My yearbook quote is even about her. I know it is. So you, you put me in the position to have to put these two artists against uh, each other song right for song. One. Now, this is purely based on music. On music, okay. This is purely based on music. There will, okay. There will be no uh, no other influences in this uh, okay. in this decision making here. Sure. So let's look at J Lo's catalog. Uh-huh. Okay. I, I think I have the top ten songs here. Mm-hmm. We have "On the Floor" featuring Pitbull. If you had my love, waiting for tonight. Mm-hmm. Love don't cost a thing, which ironically is a movie I believe that Christina Milian was in. Yes. Jenny from the Block. Uh-huh. I'm real featuring Ja Rule. Ain't it funny featuring Ja Rule? Get right. Let's get loud. Let's get and all I have featuring LL Cool J. Yes, sir. It's a solid 10. Oh, hell yeah. That's a solid 10. I can't, like, I can't argue. And it's funny because I don't immediately think of Jennifer Lopez as having, like, a catalog of just 10 hits like that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, 10 is kind of my standard. Yeah. I said 12 makes you God tier. Mm-hmm. But if you and, and I probably could have dug deeper. These were just ten. Yeah, I mean, because she has more. Bangers. When you have ten songs like that mm-hmm. that are all radio quality songs, it's hard to argue against. Because then I did Christina uh, Christina Milian here. She only has one song. We have Dip It Low. That's the only song she's ever she has. Done. AM to PM. Who which knows? Is a good who song. knows what that is? You do. No, you I do don't. know. No, no, you no. do know. Okay, it. then how does it go? I'd have to play exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> then you don't remember it because it's not that important. When you look eh. at me, say I, which I do know, with, with featuring Young Jeezy. Which say one is I, 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 Say I, 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 I. I'll give that a 50%. So th- the problem I will say with Christina Milian <clears throat> is her catalog of songs directly by her uh-huh. is not that strong. She's featured on a lot of good songs. But... I know. Let's that was the rewind. rule. Rewind. That was the rule. Okay. I'm not, okay. I'm not okay. arguing that. Okay. 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 She has whatever you want featuring Joe Budden, us against the world. Who even knows what that is? Between me and you with Ja Rule. Every little thing that we do. Okay, so she's got two songs. You. Two songs, Dip It Low and the Ja Rule song. Continue. Uh, Hello? by the, With the Stafford Brothers? Who the fuck are the Stafford Brothers? I don't brothers? know. These were the top ten. Get Away featuring Ja Rule, which I'm sure I know, but I can't think of off the top of my head. Yeah. And Gonna Tell Everybody. I'm gonna tell everybody think, that you ain't got no you songs, can tell bitch. Everybody. <laughs> I mean, so definitively, this is Jennifer Lopez. This wasn't a hard decision. Thank you. When you when you went down to <laughs> to like catalog, it wasn't even close. Thank you. You picked the right decision. Well, I mean, it, I, I'm still- I'm impartial now. If we <laughs> if we had external factors, it could change. But I don't know. There's only one right answer, Dustin. I, if I'm you want to stay married to me, I'm gonna bow out. <laughs> Uh, let's finish off the episode with, instead of adding to the playlist, we're going to do the song that sums up your week. Okay. What is the song that sums up your week? Um, honestly, I had like 17. I'll let you go first. Uh, it's Alan Jackson. Which Don't Rock the Jukebox. Ooh. I just picked an Alan Jackson song. This was a weird week for me. I never, ever, ever listened to country music. And for some reason this week, we busted out country music. And we were playing it all the way to the to the missions baseball game. We were just rocking country music. We went from George Strait to Garth Brooks. When then I introduced you, didn't introduce you to Alan Jackson, but I introduced the argument to you that Alan Jackson is the goat of country music. Brooks is my favorite. Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson is the hot take. Alan Jackson is the goat (sighs) of country music. Who did? Is Taylor Swift a country singer? No. We we had that discussion in the Discord. She's pop country and and I she love doesn't fall. You can love like I I love Taylor Swift. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, but I agree with the sentiment. You can't put her in no she's country, no country music. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's not fair to because she has an early catalog that's country yes country ish, and then just like tailed off and didn't yeah. do country music anymore. So you yeah. can't 
can't get we uh well, that's why we sat down to have this conversation with my dad at uh-huh. the dinner table oh yeah and uh i asked him who's the goat of country music because i only have any knowledge of country music because of him. you know yeah he yeah. wrote he wrote bulls and, and did all that kind of yeah. stuff and so uh <laughs> he goes there's only one right answer and i'm like uh, he's gonna say george Strait. and he said <laughs> Merle Haggard. Oh yeah, I couldn't even remember right? the guy's name. He said, yeah. I think he said Merle Haggard. And I was like, all right. And some other dudes we didn't know. You're too old. You're too <laughs> old for this conversation. But okay, so what song uh what song sums up the week for you? Oh, she's sweet but a psycho. Oh, yeah. Yep. I get it. Definitely sums I get up my it. week. We've had a wild week mm-hmm. with our children. Mm-hmm. So uh yeah. I, I, I can understand. We're not going to dig deep yep. into that. That's but, uh, it. That's all I got to say It has been an interesting week. Just take that song and imagine <laughs> that has been the week for us as far as uh, as our as our kids go. All right. Next week, let's do what year are we doing? We've done 2003. We've done 90. We should do 1999. 99? Yes. What is there in significance to 99? We're going to party like it's 1999. Oh, party people. That's the, that's the first song that jumped in my head. So I thought 1999. Okay. Like, I so, really don't know which songs are from that year. So next week we will have a bracket fight for the best song of 1999. All right. 